Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. at the church, whether you're visiting with us online or in person, uh, we're glad you're with us today. Let us start by going to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, for this opportunity to be here, for the freedom to come worship you, and a place to do it. We thank you for this sanctuary and this church. We ask your blessings upon each and every one here assembled today and the ones that couldn't be with us or at other places. We ask your blessings upon them. Let us now remember why we're here. We've come today to worship you and to turn off last week and this coming week or whatever's distracting us from bringing our time to you as a worship time. So we ask you to guide our hearts guard our thoughts to be in communion with you for this short time we have here and then hopefully carry it out for the coming week before we ask this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. All right, a few announcements. Uh, get to the right page. Rosenwald, uh, looking for some cakes for them. There's two signed up. We need four more to sign up, and that will be on the 26th of this month. Uh, prayer meeting coming up Wednesday night. Um, United Methodist Men next Sunday morning with the youth and children in the afternoon. Uh, administrative Council next week. Plates of Love coming up. Uh, the 13th, and then uh, two weeks from today is something they call Mother's Day. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain that, do I? I hope not. Um, newsletters are current copy, fresh copies is on the table out there. Uh, and the fresh upper rooms for this coming month, starting tomorrow. Does anyone have anything else? If not, then he say, I'm going to let you have it, baby. Thank you, Lee. <coughs> uh, thank you for participating in worship and making worship together. Uh, especially, I really appreciate your prayer. For this time, I'd like to invite all of you for the call to worship, opening hymn, and opening prayer. Call to worship. Come, let's praise God together. God is great and worthy of our praise. Uh, let's tell stories of God's power and mighty. His mighty acts throughout history, for God is great and worthy of our praise. Uh, let's remember the compassion he has shown toward us, his mercy and unfailing love, generation after generation. For God is great and worthy of our praise. Let's pass these stories along to our children and grandchildren so that they too may come to know and love our God. For God is great and worthy of our praise. Let's worship God together. Amen. Would you rise? Let's praise our Lord together with the song 80, 89. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee.
Boys and girls, good morning. Uh, do you like do you like to uh, sing song? Oh, okay, glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Uh, this morning we are going to uh, we are talking about very special things that we do in church. That is singing hymns. This group, right? We are familiar with this group, right? Yeah. We are going to talk to you about singing hymns. Uh, hymn is type of special song uh, to praise God in the church. And through through the hymns, singing hymns, we show our love and uh, to God and uh, we praise God. A uh, hymn Hymns have been sung for thousands and thousands of years, and hymns are an important part of worship in church. In fact, many of the hymns we sing today were written a long time ago by people who wanted to express their love and gratitude to God. They wrote beautiful words, lyrics, and uh, set them to music, set them to music, and that how we receive a lot of hymns that we sing today. Uh, when we feel happy, we might want to sing and dance, right? Uh, maybe we sing a song that we learn in school. Now, singing can make us feel even better and can uh, bring joy to others also. What about him? <laughs> what about him? Hymns. When we sing a hymn, it is a special kind of song. Hymns are songs that help us talk to God and show Him how much we love Him. They remind us all the good things that God has done for us and help us to feel closer to God. So when we sing him, sing a hymn, it's not just about making ourselves feel good. It's also about showing our love for God. 
When we sing hymns, we can feel a sense of peace and comfort as well. The lyrics, words, and music can help us connect with God and feel closer to God. And when we sing hymns together as a congregation, uh, we can feel a sense of unity and community and praising God. So, when we sing today, please remember that it's a special way to show our love for God and to connect with God. And maybe, uh, maybe someday you will even write a hymn of your own for the whole world to sing. Uh, please, please uh, pray with me. Dear God, dear God, thank you for the gift of hymns. Thank you for the gift of hymns, which help us express our love, which help us express our love, and gratitude to you, and gratitude to you. Help us to remember that. Help us to remember that. Hymns are not just the songs, but a special way to talk to you and show our love for you. We ask for your blessings and guidance as we continue to worship and praise you. Worship and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys. Uh, this time we have the opportunity the blessings and gifts God has blessed us to return to God. Please stand for our offering to be present to God. This time, I'd like to read the last words uh, related to the praise God. Um, may these words, God's words, inspire us to praise God together. Uh, Ephesians chapter uh, 1, verse 3. Praise be to, God, uh, be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly Realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Psalm chapter 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His acts of power. Praise Him for His surpassing greatness. Praise Him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise Him with the harp and lyre. Praise Him with trump, um, tambourine and dancing. Praise, praise Him with the string and flute. Praise Him with the crash of cymbals. Praise Him with resounding cymbals. That's everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Uh, this is sing all on time. Let's make a joyful noise. Uh, could you share with us your favorite hymn? 378. 378. 378. Oh. <clears throat> 378. Amazing grace. Let us give glory and praise to God together.
Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to begin by reading some selected verses from Proverbs 31, which is known as the chapter about the virtuous woman. A capable wife, who can find? She is far more precious than jewels. She girds herself with strength and makes her arms strong. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who hears the Lord is to be praised. We have a long legacy of virtuous women in the history of the women's group here at Catawba. And these virtuous women have ministered in many ways throughout the years all in the service of our Lord. The group began as the Women's Missionary Society. In 1940, it became the WSCS, the Women's Society of Christian Service. Later, we became the United Methodist Women. Now we're just called the Women's Group. But uh, despite the name changes, the main focus has always been ministries that benefit women and children. Looking back at some of the things that the women have done, it was the women who had the vision to purchase our first church van back in the late 1980s and who began the fundraising efforts for that. It was the women who made all of the Christmas that we use on our Christmas tree every year. It was the women who helped furnish the Family Life Center uh, kitchen with uh, china and silverware and tablecloths and various other things when the FLC was built. And it was the women who first established 
a college scholarship fund exactly 40 years ago this year. And since then, more than $26,000 has been given to students within our congregation. More recently, we have helped the disabled by sponsoring a resident at the J. Iverson Middle Center in Morganton for over 30 years and by supporting the UMAR ministry in our conference. We have helped the poor by donating many blankets, shoes, and um, children's coats over the years to Project Agape for shipment to Armenia. In the past, we've also held work days at the Mission Response Center, which is located in Carroll. <coughs> we've sponsored drives for clothing and household goods for highways and hedges, uh, drives for baby items for the Pregnancy Care Center, <coughs> food for the blessing box and backpacks for kids, toiletries and cleaning supplies for the women at Safe Harbor and the Women's Resource Center in Hickory. We have fed Habitat for Humanity work crews and donated prayer shawls to new homeowners. <coughs> we currently have a card ministry to remember our sick and our shut-in members as well as a bereavement ministry to organize and serve meals at the time of a death. We provide cakes for the monthly plates of love meals and help the Methodist men recently with their fundraiser. Funds are raised through monthly offerings at our meetings, at annual bake sale and craft sales that is held on the day of the Catawba Town Festival. We sell flavorings and kitchen knives through Barbara Lynch's beauty shop. And of course, the annual pecan sale our biggest fundraiser. And we appreciate all the help that you give us with that every year. These monies enable us to financially support many worthwhile ministries. Some of them include the Redbird Mission in Kentucky, Cross North Community for Children, formerly called the Children's Home, JARS, a support ministry for missionaries in Waxhaw, Forgiven Prison Ministry based in Alexander County, Little Samaritan Mission in Moldova, Greater Piedmont Adult and Teen Challenge in Greensboro, and Love Packages Ministry, which sends Bibles and religious literature uh, overseas. Locally, we support the Catawba County Wig Bank, the Catawba County Meals on Wheels, uh, the Women's Resource Center, the Family Care Center, the Catawba Fire Department, and needs of the church, as well as uh, we kind of adopted um, the Rosenwald Education Center and do things for their staff and students and teachers. In addition, the ladies collect change uh, throughout the year and we donated at Vacation Bible School time. Most importantly, we support and minister to one another through monthly devotions, prayer, outings to Tom and Emmy's house, <laughs> delicious food, and fellowship at our meetings. Our doors are always open for new members. We meet in the Explorers class on the third Tuesday of each month at 6.30 p.m. Please come and be blessed. Thank you. Uh, uh, would you rise up? Uh, Methodist Women's uh, Group members, would you rise? <laughs> uh, I just want to give you a big round of applause. <laughs> uh, thank you for your ministry, as always. Your love is reaching many parts of, of the church. We appreciate your effort in taking good care of the members and sharing God's love with our neighbors. I really appreciate that. May, God's, uh, uh, may God uh, bless your ministry and your life. Uh, at this time, we will listen to special music together. <laughs> okay. Thank you. 
is a, a cherry bag. Okay, I will be playing put your hands in the hand today. So please enjoy and feel free to sing along. Yep. Words are on the screen. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> At this time, uh, let me read the Bible. Uh, let me read the scripture God has given for us. Uh, may this God's word inspire us uh, to praise God further. Uh, Psalm chapter 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights of earth. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His heavenly hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all His shining stars. Praise Him, you highest heavens and you waters above the skies. <coughs> Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded and they were created. He set them in place forever and ever. He gave a decree that will never pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth. You great sea creatures and all ocean depths, riding, lightning and hail, snow and cloud, stormy winds that do his 
feeding you mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all castles, small creatures and flying birds, kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and all rulers on earth, young men and maidens, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord. For his, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and the, and the heavens. He has raised up for his people a horn, the praise of all his saints of Israel, the people close <coughs> to his heart. Praise the Lord, the word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Amen. Let's just start again praising God together. Could you share with you your favorite team with us once again, Kelvin? <laughs>
70. We are going to a couple of songs, or a couple of more songs, then we will close uh, today's similar time. So we don't have much, we don't have much chance, <laughs> many chances.
Open to study. Five, three. <clears throat> to sing a long time. So this time, let's sing our closing hymn together. We are going to sing hymn number 139. <clears throat>
let's make a confession of our faith, in, uh, faith together in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let's pray. <clears throat> Dear God, we praise you today with our hearts and songs. We praise you for your faithfulness. We praise you for your great power and love. We confess our needs for you. We struggle and worry, get weary and worn. But you never, you never leave us. Thank you for your presence today. Thank you for your care over us. We ask for we ask for your spirit to fill us, to draw us close to yourself, and walk your purposes through us as we set our eyes on you. Father, as we dismiss, may the peace of God the Father, the grace of Jesus the Son, the guidance and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. Thank you.